Today I am going to be playing with these powdered pigments. They're called Nuance and they're made by a company called Magenta and boy are they lots of fun to play with. Okay, well, I am going to do this picture. Now this is my uh, one that I have a workshop on. but We're going to do her in a completely different way and um, just play with these Magenta Nuance colors here and I saw a video I actually saw a couple of videos on them and the one that impressed me the most was the one with CC's creations and she was playing with this and she did such a beautiful job with these colors and what you do is you you know you just stick a little hole in the top of these and what is that on there the paint on. I've never used them so this is the first time stick a hole you it pours them out and it's like a little powder and um oops and they just, I don't know if you can see it, just come out. So we're going to do that and see how it works. So I just printed this sketch out. I didn't do a new sketch for this. So I just printed this one out. And I am going to play with her. And now uh, can, you can just, I guess, spritz it on here. It's coming in. I don't know. I'm afraid I'm going to put too much. Okay. So this is this hot, like, pink. So you know I love that. So I'm going to mess around with that and see what happens. Ooh. Okay. And so now it, it's like a watercolor. And dynamite. You know, when you see somebody do it, it looks so cool, but then when you do it, I mean, it's just even cooler. You know? So I'm using watercolor paper. What I did was I, I just printed this out on watercolor paper and just thought, now I guess. Really, I gotta add some more colors. Come on, yeah, all right. Let's see. Oh, this one looks interesting. Are they are they marked? Well, you know me. I I don't have like a, a magnifying glass. I don't know what anything is. So let's see how this how this goes. And you can you know put them on your craft mat and ooh and uh, use them like that. Whoa. Is this not beautiful? Oh, goodness gracious. Lusciousness. Huh? Well, I'm really... I've never used anything quite like this before. You know what? Let me darken this a little bit. Um, it's actually so much more brighter than what you're saying because I always forget I have to adjust the camera. If any of you have webcams you know you have to have a a webcam app that adjusts your camera for you. At least I do for my Mac. So, so let's get it a little bit more intensified. Yeah you can see it better. How cool that is. Okay, so I'm thinking, what else do I want? Oh, how about some cool purple? Oh. I think I'm going crazy with this.
But okay. I'm going to put some of these on my mat to kind of see what colors they actually are cuz like this one this one looks gray or something. Yeah, it is kind of a gray. I don't like that. I made kind of messy mess in that. So let's just get that up. I really just want to play with all the colors so I'm just trying them all out and just have fun <laughs> so they're just so beautiful look at them I mean they're just my kind of colors definitely Okay, so I'm just stamping with um, the Ranger Distress inks and my little paisley stamp that I had bought. I like pieces of it, you know, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just stamping pieces of it because she's got tattoos on her. So I wanted to put something like almost the same kind of things in the background for her. And now I'm just painting in some little wispy flowers. I don't know what they are, but they're just wispy.
Okay, well, I think she's done, and I really had fun with those um, colors, really, you know, and I just really like working with them, so I will be doing a lot more with those pigment little powders, and this is really fun, and uh, she looks so much different than, you know, the one I did for the uh, workshop, but if you're interested in that workshop, I'll put the link below, and you get the two sketches you'll get this sketch and then you get another sketch with some more designs and stuff on the side um, that we work on and there's actually a little video in YouTube about it a little presentation video but I will put the link to my workshop below if you're interested and um, it was lots of fun doing it the other way too this is it's great to reuse your sketches so when you get a sketch if you do it yourself or you download you can use them to practice and really come out with such different, you know, ideas for each one. I mean, this never worked with these before. This was lots of fun, and I would definitely, uh, if you like watercolors and bright colors and all, I would definitely get that. Um, and it's just, I think they'll last a long time because the little bit that I used for this, I mean, it's just a little tiny bits so I think they go a long way and it was lots of fun and I do love them and it's magenta nuance uh, is the name and just look it up on Amazon and you can get them there or I'm sure everybody I'm I don't you know I didn't look for them in Michaels but maybe they have them I don't know oh and you get this one I want to show you you do get the color chart they're not marked each bottle but you do get this so you'll know I have no idea now, you know, which ones I use to even tell you, um, because when I was using them, I didn't realize I had, a, there was a color chart in here, so, um, but they're all beautiful, and I, I know I used, uh, I think I used the violet, and you see they have such, oh, and there's the raspberry, I think I used that raspberry on here and uh, the rose and I don't know they're all so beautiful just you know get them and and enjoy them and have fun here's a little picture of them and this package was I think you get 15 yeah I just got the whole packet the whole little kit because I thought uh, I don't even you know I don't even remember if they came one at a one at a piece you know like if you bought I don't know they must they must have them where you can buy one at, one at a time, but that's what I got. I enjoyed this very much, and you know, I used, you know, as far as gel pens and uh, my fine liners with the acrylic to do the, you know, her tattoos, and um, black gel pen, and what else did I use? That was probably it. Just, you know, black and white markers and gel pens and things like that really just to you know I wanted to make sure this all stood out nice and popped but that that was it they're really just it's just beautiful beautiful color so I hope you enjoyed this and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already leave me a comment let me know if you enjoyed this and if it's something that you may try and I'd love to hear from you thank you again for being here until the next time bye bye